I live in a small town in Pennsylvania. I'll be going into my junior year of high school. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, you act like I'm not a baller. You're not. When I'm with my friends, I'm usually playing basketball, something like that. I got it. Guys, dinner's ready. I. Wait, who do you have for, what's your signs? Not Huey. What? Not Mr. Huey. Oh, who do you have? Colin has just been one of my, like, long life friends. He pretty much helps me just realize that everything's still the same. There's some real organic burgers there. How about it, Glenn? It's all yours, Pop. My dad played video games for like his entire life. He first introduced me to the game because he played Save the World. But I kind of found the Battle Royale. So I started playing that with some of my friends and then eventually got to competing. Sometimes when I'm walking upstairs at night and I can hear him in his room and he's talking with, you know, these friends he's made and they're laughing. I just think it's so special. That's some big That's some big You want to grab the other side? Oh, no. oh, all right. I, to I got it. it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Take this off. Close this. Oh, no. So cool. Should I beat your Little League trophy? <laughs> oh. Fortnite, Fortnite. Solo champion, Kyle Booga Gear Source. Let's pick it up. All right, buddy. I was a regular 16-year-old kid. I was kind of like a nobody. I was at the very bottom and I had to work my way to the top. Winning has changed my life drastically. I want to be you so bad, dude. I'm really, I'm so jealous. I know you're still basking in the glow, but what do you do with this? You're, you're famous now, you got some money in your pocket. A lot of other people look at me differently now, which is kind of overwhelming. But I still feel the same inside. It's crazy to think that he was able to win $3 million. He was competing against 100 of the best players in the world. Life for him has changed whether he wants it to or not. The dreams I had were to be playing video games as a job. I'm just gonna take advantage of this and make as many opportunities as I can. All right, I'm live. Hey. I woke up that morning and I was pretty excited. It was the first time I've ever been on a train. I was just thinking about how I'd meet everyone that I've been playing with for over like a year and a half now and what people would look like. I've never been to New York City before. When he walked into the hotel lobby, players started to recognize him. Your whole family. Yeah. Wow. This Everyone. is Kyle's sister, not his mom. This is his best friend. And he started to meet the people that he conversed with online. All right, yo, get cracked. And then he's like, don't be gone. Is that mom? Mr. Can you do a 
It was definitely different to see all these new people in the esports scene. I was talking to people from West, Europe, anywhere around the world, actually. It was just kind of crazy to finally like talk to these people in person, and I've never like played with them before either, so the friendship I made was pretty real. Okay, real quick. Practice areas. So going out right where you came from, instead of turning right, you turn left. We have a ballroom there with about 76 PCs. You go whenever it's open, you can slot in. That night, he started practicing in the lobby of the hotel that they had set up for players and kept that schedule from there on out. We pretty much just went in, practiced for about like two to three hours at a time. And then from there on out, it usually hit nighttime. You could just see everyone was trying to get in the zone. Oh my God, the face weight technique works. Yeah, it works. I was a little bit nervous just because I didn't really have a drop spot or a location. So I just kept practicing, playing scrims. We didn't know what to expect. To be dead honest, I, I didn't believe he would be first place. It was his first tournament. All the other 100 great players from around the world that you haven't even seen play. You don't know the strategies that those people have. So I think he was getting a little bit nervous, but he was determined to prove to everybody that he could do this. You cannot take drinks or food on the stage. You can't uh, bring any peripherals, anything with you. No pictures, nothing like that, OK? So we're going we're gonna to get started. We're going to walk down through like we would on player day. Um, we're going to walk from here. We're going to walk down and then through the hallways onto the stage, and we'll give you a tour of everything, OK? This is sick. Yeah, so it's like a tennis thing. <laughs> It was kind of surreal to walk down to the stage. Everyone was crowded around, just really excited. The arena was huge, the stage was big. I could just tell that the crowd would be crazy. Holy. This is unreal. You could just see everyone's bottled up excitement. That's, that's a lot of faces looking back at you. My seat was at the very top of the stage. I was kind of just sitting there, like, thinking about everything I was going to do. All the hours I put into the game, Six hours a day practicing, going over videos, making sure that I'm doing the best of my abilities. I was just going in confident. <laughs> on game day, everyone was on the lobby. They took us out to the bus, and then we took the bus over to the event. When we took the shuttle bus over, it was eerily quiet for everyone. It was dark, and everybody was focusing. One of the things I leaned over and, and whispered into Kyle's ear, close your eyes, picture yourself in the event, 
Picture yourself doing good. Picture yourself winning. Focus on you know, the big day. The morning of the tournament, I was a nervous wreck. I didn't want to make Kyle nervous. I knew he was already on the shuttle bus on his way. So um, I literally, <laughs> it's going to make me cry. I literally sent one text. I just said, I love you. And I didn't want to make him nervous. And he just wrote back, I love you too, heart. So I didn't want to make him nervous. And that was the only thing I said that day until I saw him. We get off the bus to the Arthur Ashe Stadium. And I was the first one off with my dad made me feel like confident in a way. I really just felt like I was ready to play. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Fortnite World Cup Finals. We are here to crown our first ever world solo champion. 40 million players competed to try to qualify for this day right now. Only 100 players remain. We were so nervous that we just wanted to get straight to our seats. So we literally just made a beeline. When we walked in, we were just like, wow. You can't even imagine, like, your son's going to be part of this amazing production. History will be made. Lives will change. When we first walked in, you could just see everyone. It was kind of overwhelming because it, there were so many people. That's crazy. <laughs> At the top of the list is Booga. A lot of people are looking forward to see what he can do. The Fortnite World Cup Solos competition is about to begin. I need you to get as loud as you possibly can. One hundred of the best players in the entire world. The battle bus is loaded. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I was kind of just sitting there, like, thinking about everything I was going to do. I figured out that I was just going to go to my normal spot, Lucky Landing. In game one, my strategy was just kind of survive and get out there and understand the playing field that I was on since it was my first LAN tournament. So I pretty much made it to mid-game, but I didn't really have too many materials and I was kind of shambles on my loot. So I went in with my heavy sniper. And then from there on out, I kind of just popped off. Shot. Booga the five. Big hit. And Booga picking up his sixth elimination. Back to back. Booga picking up another elimination. I remember watching it going, is this real? Booga is insane now. Oh! It was a one versus one, and I was low ground. Can he find the ninth elimination and the first victory royale, the World Cup solos? It might be time for the shockwave play. I impulse up. Hit him once and then I put out my AR and I just finished him.
literally jumped out of our chairs. I'm surprised we didn't jump over the people in front of us. We were so excited. That is a statement game in number one for Booga. A nine point lead out of game one. He was doing phenomenal in his first world event, you know, first LAN event, first major tournament. But one game doesn't mean anything. It's a great start, but there's a long way to go. Let's get back into the action game number two. After the last game, I have a feeling you're going to see players vying for those points. Game two, I came out of lucky landing. I didn't really have any shield. I saw a supply drop on a mountain. And it turns out there were two other players going for it as well. winner out early on, which means that that nine point lead will surely be cut down. That actually, I sunk, my chest sunk. I, I honestly did because I was like, all of that momentum left. We're gonna be down the bottom of the board because everybody else is gonna jump up now. The end of the build two right before your eyes, folks. Skype. Clutches on up. Game two goes to Sky. And now our crazy nine point lead is down to just one first through 10th within arm's reach. Wait, did he have nine point last game? Did he not The momentum hit him when he won, and he was so confident. And I feel like he was a little overconfident, maybe. Maybe. I was watching him, and I know that he knew what he did was wrong, and he just sat there at first, and then I saw a seriousness get on his face. And I said, I think he's gonna be good now. Game three, like, what are we even gonna get? There's just so much on the line. Going into my third game, I was gonna do the same thing I did in the first one. made it end game and got like top 10. In game four, my materials were very low. He had like nothing left and he was using strategy the entire time. Just maneuvering himself right in between everybody. position and now game five underway of the fortnite world cup finals can anyone catch booga benji fishy goes down king gets taken up mr savage tifu eliminated when he got to the fifth game Someone came to get us, and they actually took us out to the seats closer to the winner's circle. I just remember going up the stairs. I was literally shaking. One more match left. It all comes down to this. around me kind of just evaporated and made me get into the zone. Everything at that point seems like a blur. 
And I just remember sitting there, like, thinking, I can't even believe this is real. Booga on top, nobody nearby, no threats. Booga is looking for shots on everybody flying around. I can't even explain it right now. I'm just so happy. Everything I've done, the grind, it's all paid off, and it's just insane. <laughs> to see him succeed at the highest level and accomplish his dream. That's one of the proudest moments I've ever had. After he won, it was a whirlwind. He did numerous interviews that day. We did pictures. He had fans there waiting for pictures and autographs. It was amazing. The next day, did the Tonight Show. That was really exciting. I want to be you so bad, dude. I'm really, I'm so jealous. After that, he did the Today Show. First things first, Kyle or Booga? What do you prefer? <laughs> Probably Booga. The feeling of being on all these shows and wanting people to interview you, it's kind of unreal. What has the last 48 hours been like for you? Honestly, the last 48 hours has been just like amazing, honestly. 16-year-old Kyle Giersdorf took home the title. He netted $3 million in the process. And I know you're still basking in the glow, but what do you do with this? You're, you're famous now, you got some money in your pocket. What do you want to do? Honestly, I'll probably just get back home, get some rest, and then start my stream up and play Fortnite again. <laughs> <laughs> When 
I first got home, I pretty much sat down and let everything sink in. The hype around all this is a pretty crazy feeling just because it's never been there before and it's something new to me. Now I have to like look for an agent and do all these other things that I don't think I would have ever done beforehand. It's been hectic from that standpoint of trying to get our lives back together. But I believe that he's got a strong future in streaming and gaming. And as long as he wants to do that and he's happy, we'll be supportive of it. I feel like a lot of people have these very high standards for me. But at the same time, I'm still going to be true to myself. And so I'm never going to change who I am. I think I'm going to handle this by just playing the game, making sure I stay competitive, take advantage of the opportunity that I have, and just do what I love. Uh, do you want me to come back and grab? We can literally hard flank, yeah. Wait for dubs. You want to wait right here? So the Homer grind, yeah. it's a dance move that the kids got from Homer Simpson. And it's kind of caught on and everybody in the community seems to be doing it. All right, let's see it. Okay. All right. <laughs> My son will hate me now. <laughs> Better than the sprinkler.